papers, especially an apron, and especially, especially an art teacher's apron. So my apron is going to be reversible and it will have pockets on both sides. Um, on one side, I'm just going to use one color of fabric. On the other side, I'm actually going to do a little patchworking, which is really easy, so don't let that word freak you out. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's start with the pocket. I made um, a pattern for my pocket with some wrapping paper. I was trying to think of something thin, cheap, and something I had a lot of. I happen to have some pretty rad kitten wrapping paper, but anything would work. Butcher paper. I thought maybe newspaper, but I'm afraid that the ink from the newspaper would get on your fabric. Which, once you have some paper to work with for your pattern, go ahead and cut a rectangle that's 10 by 16 inches. And then what I did was I took my fabric that I'm using for my pocket and I folded that fabric in half and I pinned my pattern to that. The reason I folded the fabric in half is because I want my pocket to be two ply. This fabric is very thin. I'm afraid with the daily use of me putting my hand in and out of my pocket it could cause the fabric to tear or wear. So by making it two ply I think that'll make it stronger. Go ahead pin your pattern to that folded piece of fabric and cut it out. That edge that's folded, do not cut that. Leave that folded. Once you've got that finished, you're going to, so I've got my piece cut out, here's my top folded edge, and now what you're going to do is simply stitch right along the sides, leaving the bottom edge open. So again, folded the fabric, put the pattern on top, to cut it out. Don't cut the top part. Stitch the sides after taking the pattern off. Leave the bottom open. Now, when you're finished with that, go ahead and take your pins out and what you're going to do is flip this inside out. It will probably go a lot easier if you trim this really close to your seam and also if you angle cut right here and here. Make sure you don't cut into the part that's not sewn. So for now, I'm just going to flip it inside out so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So this is going to be my pocket. Not this. This entire piece. So here's my pocket. I'm going to eventually, when I attach this to my apron, fold this part either inward like this. Or actually, I think I'll tuck it inside. But you can see that it's a pretty nice, thick piece of fabric that'll be great for a pocket. Now, let's talk about that patchwork pocket I mentioned. If you want to make your pocket have two different colors on it, I kind of wanted a pocket that was one color with a band of a pattern on top, so that's what I had in mind for this. So what I did was I did a little bit of patchwork and I've got the directions on the blog post so I don't have to go too much into it. But I did the exact same thing after I pieced them together. I stitched along the sides to take the pins out. Of course, I should trim close to that seam, like I mentioned before, I'm doing that angle cut like I said before also. Let's see how this one turned out. So this one will go on the um, side with all the crazy food on the fabric. So I love these colors together. All right, so here we go. So here is that pocket. Now this will be the top. That open part, which I will go ahead, like I said a second ago, I'm going to tuck it inside, not going to fold it under. And I'll show you how to do this a little better shortly. That's what's going to be the pocket on that other apron, so it'll go right about there. Alright, let's talk about the apron now. 